one day I decided I really didn't want to be in the corporate environment anymore and managed to get myself out of that to work independently and declare that I never wanted a job again for the rest of my life. I'm John Williams and I'm author of Screw Up Let's Play. I think it's a rebellious act to say that you don't want a job anymore. I mean, the thing is like, we are talked uh, since early age that we should like uh, get educated, get a job, whatever. And I was very much educated that I should get a job that, um, you know, puts food on the table. Then we look at the education system and it was designed to create compliant workers that would go into a factory and do what they're told. And actually it's largely the same today. At the moment I'm struggling to become an artist. Uh, that's my dream, but because of financial difficulties, you know, uh, I don't know whether to pursue it or not. <laughs> no, I think you can use that excuse for, for your whole life if you're not careful. And then you get to the end of your life and you haven't done what you want to do for the sake of money. You know, I'm having to take out loans for grad school, so it's going to be a matter of making sure that I can do something lucrative until I can pay those off. I don't know, it would be tough to, to go that far and just throw everything up. I don't advocate anyone who quits their job without a plan. What I think people should do is to determine what you want to do while you're still making a living some other way. Experiment and explore until you know what it is you want to do. I think you should find work that is playing, you know? And then everybody's going to have a better time. That's why I talk about screw work, let's play. It's not what it's about, no effort. It's about doing work that feels so enjoyable that you do some form of it even if you were a lottery. My job somewhat embodies certain aspects of my dream. There's no reason to be doing boring work anymore. I think it's a little early for me to say. What you should do is explore and try things, because the only way you find out what your, pa your passion is, or at least find out what your interests are, is by experimenting with them and trying them out. I did sell paintings, but I also missed the technical Part, the in-depth technical part of my work in architecture and I kind of need both. I think the bravery you need most is the willingness to be seen. What with, you know, the patriarchy and all that. <laughs> part of the work about brainwashing that we get in the world from the education system, from jobs, is that you keep your head down and you don't shout about what you do. It's a particularly British thing, actually, as well. People get worried too much about what they look like and what they sound like, because it's all going to be on YouTube. You just go and do it anyway. So you go and make that film you want to make. You go and start that business. You go and start that event. Like, no one else is doing it. Why shouldn't it be me? And that, I think, is a rebellious act. It certainly feels rebellious, and it feels quite scary as, as well. What would happen if we didn't work for money at all? Would like most people just sit around and drink beer and do nothing? Or would we all go along merrily trading in what we did best and loved? I don't know. I wonder what would happen if there was no money.